am finally free from my evil child. We put our severely autistic child in an institution. Two years ago we decided to put our 18-year-old severely autistic nonverbal child in an institution. I can honestly say it's probably the best thing to ever happen to the family. I was a stay-at-home parent while my spouse worked 10 to 12 hour days to keep a roof over our heads and food on the table. Living with our child was mostly hell. From the moment they woke up, if they even slept that night, there was never a moment of peace, never a quiet easy day. Nothing made them happy, nothing. They were physically abusive towards us and themselves every day. Throwing anything and everything, banging slash kicking anything. They would shut the door to their room, lay on the floor in front of it, and just kick it for hours and hours and hours. Think running on the door, sometimes I still feel the way it would vibrate the whole house. Walls would have holes in them, windows broken, they broke five, doors would need to be replaced yearly. If you weren't paying attention to them you'd get your hair pulled hard, sometimes drugged to the floor or slapped. One time we all shaved our heads so they wouldn't have anything to grab. And oh boy did that make them angry, have you ever seen a grown 16 year old have a total meltdown because they couldn't pull your hair? Communication was always a problem, they just refused to learn anything. Not for lack of trying on our end either. The only sign language they took any interest in learning was food. So when you would ask them a question like do you have to use the restroom? They are still in diapers, or do you need help? They would just sign food and if you got it wrong, which was all the time, they'd get angry and have a meltdown. The tablet was never an option, it was always just something to throw. They went to school every day with normal school hours until they were 15, then it got switched to Tuesday and Thursday until they were 17. They became too much for the staff to handle. It was just something to give us some time to breathe. To try and get something done, but it was never enough. I know those poor teachers were afraid of them, and don't blame them. It was the only break we ever got, and we desperately needed it. My favorite time of day was putting them on that school bus in the morning. Then every time I would dread seeing that bus come back up our road in the afternoon. Sometimes I don't think they were happy to see me either. My other older kids were always stressed and worn down. Heads are always on a swivel. It made me feel like a crap parent. I made sure they all got their driver's licenses as soon as possible so they could escape. Then I found myself becoming increasingly jealous of them because they could leave. I wanted to leave with them every day, anything was better than being home with them. When the virus hit, that's when things started to take a turn for the worse. We were all stuck in the house with them. We all felt like prisoners in our own homes. It was so stressful that clumps of my hair were falling out. The abuse got worse, and my house was falling apart I had a nervous breakdown and was sent to the hospital for a week. I didn't want to leave, I didn't want to go back home. My other kid slept slash stayed at my parents' house while I was there. Leaving my spouse to go it alone. It was an eye-opener for them, I never really told them how bad it was when they weren't there. So after my stay in the hospital, we made phone calls, and they were placed in an institution a month later. Where they are thriving. They have six people who supervise them constantly, who are just employed for them. Their meds are finally balanced right, they maybe have one issue a week. When we visit they are excited to see us, as are we. We take them out to eat and to parks. They have an excellent life of their own. Communication is still a little iffy, but I believe progress is being made because of those wonderful people. The day we took them to the institution I remember feeling awful for not being upset, for not crying. All I remember feeling was relief and excitement. It took us months to feel some kind of normal like we forgot how to be human. We got so used to being a doormat all the time we didn't know what to do with ourselves. My older kids started staying home more. I got a part-time job just to get me out of the house a couple of days a week. It's nice so do I have regrets, yes. Is one of those regrets putting them in an institution, no. My older kids, my spouse, and I are finally able to breathe.